go by Drama the Prophet, aka Mr. Cut the Check. I need y'all to do is is hit that subscribe button. Yeah, like I was saying, I, I I did write out a list, right? I wrote out a list of people that's literally like males, black males that wear dresses. And yo, we got Eddie Murphy, we got Nick Cannon, Osinio Hall, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, which it's crazy, right? Uh, Chris Rock, Will Smith, Chris Tucker, Damon Wayans. Well, you know what? Damon Wayans, he had literally everybody in the dress on, uh, what's that show? Uh, in Living Color. Was it in Living Color? I think it was in Living Color. He had everybody in the dress in a Living Color. So, yeah, Damon Wayans, or, yo, he had everybody, Maul and Sean, all of them literally, you know, Sean and Molly, they was in uh, white chicks, and they was wearing a dress. Now, I want to know, like, with wearing a dress, is that, like, advancing their career? It do look like that. You know, when they put on these dress, they de it definitely looks like that. You know what I'm saying? It looks that way. So, we got uh, Jamie Foxx, Wesley Snipes, Keenan Kell. K and Pill, Martin Lawrence, like crazy. That's crazy. So we do got a a, a, a thing here with uh Cat Williams where he actually is like talking about it. He's talking about that. So uh we're gonna jump into that. Let's jump into that real quick. Martin tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Kat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit. I said, Martin, you got my motherfucking word. Yo, he sound like he was hurt though. Like when he said it, like, like listen to, listen to his voice. Like when he first said it, it sound like he was hurt behind it. You know what I mean? Listen. To him. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, "Cat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit." I said, "Martin, you got my motherfucking word, my nigga. Go do what you gotta do. When you come back, I'm in your movie. Don't trip. I don't need to see the script or nothing. You know, we get in that office and this fool pull out Big Mama's house too." <laughs> I almost died. And I got to read this script from all these good white people. Yo. Where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this time. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so mad, I say, you don't want me. You want Brandon T. Jackson. And that's who they went and got. And Twice got I said it, they went and got him. Just like I'm telling you, I had that other dude's work. I had all of it. All I did was say, I want to punch it up so it's not offensive to real niggas. And that's how I got in this position. Listen, my thing, listen, my thing is, is this. I don't have no issue with a male wanting to be in a If you want to be in a that's on you, bro. That's up to you. But you got men that literally don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? But they doing it. I feel like they doing it to enhance their career. You know how they say, you know, the Illuminati, all that stuff like that, right? I mean, I don't believe in that stuff, right? I don't believe in none of that stuff, but it is what it is. I believe there is gatekeepers when it comes to, you know, entertainment and, you know, pushing you certain places, certain moves, especially like if you uh, here and you want to advance here, they do got those gatekeepers. They definitely got gatekeepers. Like that's, that's not nothing, right? But do these gatekeepers are really like stopping people from doing certain things and having them wear dress. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what, what is this? Accept the men in dress. What would they accept next? Simple math. <sighs> that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. You know? So it's like, it's like this. I just followed you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. 
Um, that that's what I'm saying. Pause it. Right, right, right. So it's like they try one thing. Hey, you know, t- hey, you know, take this dress. You know, it's gonna be funny. It's not, and it's not that serious. Then they do it for them to be able to get in their career. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. So he was talking about Brandon T. Jackson, how, you know, uh, he was wearing a dress, right? And what, Big Mama's, uh, what is it, Big Mama's house or whatever the, whatever the case might be. And he, he wanted him. This is why I rock with Cat Williams. Cat Williams do not play no games. I do some crazy all work. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, Cat Williams, listen, Cat Williams... Don't play no games. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why I respect him. I really do respect him. And I respect a lot of people that stand on their ground and do what they need to do. You know what I'm saying? They don't settle for nothing. They they do what they got to do. Let's finish this up real quick. I sure hope I have a uh, club Shay Shay after this year. <laughs> it's going to be in a dimension that's never been. Yeah, it's going to be. A, it's gonna be it, it, the greatest thing floating in 2024. Mark business. the words. No way. In a, in a whole different realm of business. So listen, I have a, I have an interview that I was watching is with Brandon T. Jackson, and he's actually talking about, um, you know, him being a big mama house too, wearing the dress and stuff like that and how he feels. So, Let's uh, dip over there and see how he felt towards this situation. I mean, let's go. Everything went wrong. It's like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. Pre-Big Mamas, to me, I have I, actually, that's like a, you know, you have an AD. You have like AD, BC. Okay. It's like BM for me. My career pre-BM. So Big Mama was a changing point. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What it made like it a, a changing point? Was it that it was Martin or just everything was aligning up at the right time for you? It was a negative changing point, to be honest. Okay. Positive in a way where the perception of, of my image was on every bus, but my personal life was, was in shambles in that time. It was horrible. That's crazy. So it, it for him, it, it really wasn't worth it. It really wasn't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like... You know, I feel like like they catch these men in like these situations where they really need the money. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is on hard times, you know. A lot of actors and, and did y'all know like a lot of actors don't get paid as much as we think they get paid. Like a lot of them. So, you know, you catch a you catch somebody in that type of situation where they literally have to like you know, they got to pay their bills. They got to feed their family and they got to, you know, do what they got to do. And they like, hey, listen, we got a big movie for you. You're going to work with Martin Lawrence. You ain't never worked with him before. And uh, but you got to wear a dress. You know what I'm saying we're going to pay you X amount of money to do it. You know, a lot of these people do it. And in their mind, they say, hey, this this is. This is a art form. So let me go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and do this. And they do it. And they find themselves in certain, depending on the people, you know, depending on the person, they find themselves in these situations. You know what I'm saying? So, like, for instance, uh, Brandon T. Jackson, he literally is telling you, like, yo, I did that. And my career have not been the same. Like, what did we see this man in since Big Mama House 2? I haven't seen him in, at least I haven't seen him in nothing. If y'all seen him in something, y'all let me know. I have not seen this man in nothing. Literally. Nothing. I don't know. You want to expound on that? What do you mean? Like, If I was a stand-up? At the time, season like I am now, I could tell the story. Mm-hmm. And that's the, it, that's the issue. It's like, how are you able to tell your story? The most mm-hmm. most elegant way, eloquent, say in, in an eloquent way. I couldn't say what I was going through because it's almost like, like, you know, if you're a baby, you can't communicate yet. And I, was, I just wasn't fully uh, a seasoned stand-up to be able to say what I was going through. But mm-hmm. in a retrospect, if I can say what I was going through, 
Uh, at the time when I did Big Mama, what's going when on, y'all? How y'all doing? How you uh, doing? Kick, what's up with y'all? Not my wife, my daughter's mother, and, and um, from that time, TikTok, like what's life, up? What's up? Welcome it, in, it, welcome it, in. It was hell from there. My personal life was in shambles, but my career, it was at the, at its at at its height, I believe. As at, at it was right. it was going. It was kind of like a passing of the torch in a sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was, it was. And I played Martin's son, and um, I feel like that. It's so weird. It's like every time. I play these sons of people. It never goes right. What didn't go right with Big Mamas? It was, first of all, no offense, that movie wasn't that good to me. It wasn't a prolific film. Um, I sound so mean, like, oh, you should be grateful for it. But I'm real. You know, you should be real. Like, it wasn't, like, the best movie. It was a, it was okay. It was an entertaining film. It was. It, it was. it was a, Big Mama's House 2 was an okay movie. You know what I'm saying? It was an okay movie. And this is what I I, I want to do. I want to I want to go in. I want to listen to these people like them talking and stuff. I wish one day, one day I could do these type of interviews with these people. You know what I'm saying? Really give them these like these type of interview. Like you know what I'm saying? And dig deep and see what's actually going on because a lot of these stars, man, we look at them as stars, but you got to think about it. They people too at the end of the day, and they got bills to pay just like us at the end of the day. So, you know, with that, you know, like he said, you know, he, he felt like it was a good movie. And at the time it was good. He felt at the time it was good. At the time it was good. But was it really? Was it really good for you, bro? You know what I'm saying? This why you, this why you got to have like good agents around you. Good people around you. You discuss that among your people you know what i'm saying i'm happy i got good people around me you know what i'm saying so they let me know listen drama nah you shouldn't do that you know what i'm saying that might not be a good look then i think about it like oh okay let me let me let me let me ponder what's happening here let me see what's going on and if it's not good for me it is what it is you know what i mean number one big mama's one that's arguably like, okay, Miss Doubtfire was out, but the whole dress bit was already overdone. You know, it was like, it was hacky, you know, and I did it for, I did it purely for the money and the work of Martin Lawrence. Yeah. So I didn't do it for the purity of comedy, but I did it for the purity of work with Martin. But I believe that it wasn't, it was still more than money. Like, damn, I'm gonna get a big check, you know? Yeah. And knowing you now, and I'm gonna kind of uh, set this. He probably, he probably thought him wearing the dress it was going to advance his career. He probably felt like that. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. Question up. But in What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, y'all. Welcome. Appreciate y'all coming in. What's up with y'all? Knowing you now, there's a more of an awakened Brandon mm -hmm. compared to when he first came into the business. Uh, you mentioned the dress. It's a big conversation yeah. about that. Did you get like slack when you wore the dress at that moment? It was like, wasn't probably. slack from people. Only Cat Williams. Cat Williams was trying to always say, Brandon, Brandon, don't wear a dress. <laughs> you know, he, he called you or is this? No, he was saying it in the media, so I thought he was heckling me. He was really trying to help me <laughs> at the time. I didn't know that. I was immature. Right. I feel like, dang, why? I'm trying to, uh, just trying to make it. Why are you bashing me? And then he was trying to warn me, you know, don't get in the dress. So the awakened Brandon, you couldn't pay him a trillion dollars to get in the dress. Yeah. Was there like, um, how did they present that? Well, you knew right away. Look at that. That's crazy. He really regret that, man. And and it, it's sad to see. It's sad to see that. Like for real, it's definitely sad to see. That. Wait, you had to get in dress. I did this. I did the scene on lottery ticket. Okay. That scene on lottery ticket. After that, they were pushing his dress on me. It was something about that scene that touched a lot of people, and I thought I think I was too real. I think they did the same thing like to Tupac. When they you're too real, they start looking at you like, hold on. How'd this slip past us? Who's this guy? You know what I mean? What's going on, y'all? Welcome in, welcome in. And then it's like, you know what? Yeah, he might be a kid. Just put him in the dress. What do you think the dress is about? Is it to, to tone us down, to tone that realness down? Is I it think to... the dress, personally, um, is a thing that was, 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 was not in our culture to do. And I think everybody will want to put their culture on us. And no, not to hate your culture or your God. 
Mm-hmm. If your guys say you can put on a dress and your culture is normal for you, that you have the right as a human to choose that. But me, for my God and my culture, my ancient culture, we just never, we didn't do stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. So, I was cursed by it. I believe. Welcome in, y'all. Welcome in. Appreciate y'all coming in. What's up with y'all? It was a curse that went with that, personally. Because nothing went right since then. That's truthful. No one can tell me, hey, man, you think it's too much, man. You see what I mean? Can't. Everything went wrong. It's like everything went right. Everything went wrong when I put on that dress. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Tell you, I lived it. Yeah. Is there any, like, uh... Wow. Even Martin, things went wrong when he did it, too. Because Martin is very anointed. Martin is a very... Okay. Strong man. And Stage Spell said that, too. He said things about that, too. And something... If you look at Martin's Arsenio Hall interviews, you look at him now, something's changed. You know? Yeah, well, Martin, uh... I, I noticed it's that, too. not a too. shot. But something's changed. No, he definitely had like a lot of fire behind his, a lot of energy. He's got similar to me. He's gotten, he's gotten older, but I don't think he's gotten that old. Eddie Murphy's old. He still has a fire to him too. Uh, I don't think it's an age thing. Yeah. I mean, my dad has a fire. He's almost. You think maybe that is true, Eddie? All right, comparing Eddie Murphy to Martin Lawrence, they both are older men, right? I don't know how old they are, but. They both older. Maybe they're about the same age, around the same age, right? Maybe a little bit younger. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Yo, what's going on, King? How you feeling? How you feeling? Welcome in. Welcome in. They, you know what I mean? Similar ages, right? But I feel like Martin has changed a little bit. Martin Lawrence changed a little bit. Just a little bit. Welcome in. Welcome into the chat, y'all. What's up with y'all? I feel like he tried. We we're talking about you know. Men in dresses, like black men in dresses. I mean, it's it's definitely white males, that's actors, that's been in dresses. You know what I'm saying like, uh, Mrs. Delphia, uh, you know, a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying. But right now, that's that's what we talking about. Yeah, that's what we talking about right now. I mean, but yeah. It's a lot of men, and I ran the list down. I ran the list down. I'm gonna run the list down to y'all one more time of the people that I I put together. Like it was like a little list, and we got like we got Eddie Murphy, Nick Cannon, Osenio Hall. These is people right in Hollywood. That's like they careers and events, literally. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Murphy, Nick Cannon, Osenio Hall. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I mean, all the time when The Rock was wrestling, he was doing his thing. It's not until he got into Hollywood and movies, that's when they wanted him to start wearing a dress. You know what I mean? Which is crazy. Chris Rock, Will Smith, Chris Tucker. I know y'all remember that, right? Uh, Damon Waynes, Jamie Foxx, Wesley Snipes. Keenan and uh not Keenan. Yeah, Keenan Keenan and Kel and of course Martin Lawrence. Which is cra- it's crazy. It's crazy. So I don't know. Like is this something like okay, well, do men necessarily got to wear dresses to be able to advance their career or get to the next level in their career? Do they have to do this? Or could they be like, "Listen, this is not what I want to do. Let's switch the part up." You know what I'm saying I don't know. I don't know. But let's finish this up and we're going to jump into something else. Let's go. It was more of the business that kind of just, it, it took so much out of them. Honestly, I think it's a spiritual thing, but I, everyone has their own journey. Mm-hmm. I can't say what it is. I don't know. I think, you know, for me, I can only speak from my journey. Once I put the dress on and I had that fire, that fire was put out. Yeah. What's and going I only on? did it What's one time. On? So Matt is doing it three times. How you doing today? What's up? Welcome, man. Welcome, man, y'all. Welcome, man. Appreciate you coming in. What's up? What's up? That's four times. But then Tyler Perry did. He got stronger. I don't know the rules. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. This is what happened to me. I'm not here to knock another brother because that's their path. Yeah. That's one thing I don't do is knock my brothers because that's their path. But I'm saying my path, when I put on a dress, it came with a, 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 a demon baby mama and a starter kit for, for hell. <laughs> That's what happened to me. You haven't seen me since, to be honest. What you but said, I, bro? I, 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 Wait I a minute. Stronger. Time out. What it came, like one, what it came one with? So Maddie's doing it three times, four times. But then Tyler Perry did. He got stronger. I don't know the rules. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not. This is what happened to me. I'm not here to knock another brother. Yo, Tyler Perry made billions. He got to be a billionaire at this point, right? Ain't he a billionaire? I think he is, right? Off of wearing a dress, right? Being a good actor as Medea, putting out those plays, putting other people on. You know what I'm saying? Could he have done it without doing that? I don't know. Who knows? Truthfully, I'm going to be honest with you. Truthfully, I can't really watch just a Tyler Perry, like just him being Tyler Perry. He is terrible as himself. Do you understand? He has to be Medea for me to watch. If Tyler Perry ain't Medea in the movie, I'm not watching it. Tyler Perry is trash as a actor, <laughs> him, himself. But if it's Medea, I'm watching it. You know what I'm saying? Let's finish that's up. That's their path. Yeah. That's one thing I don't do is knock my brothers because that's their path. But I'm saying my path, when I put on a dress, it came with a, 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 a demon baby mama and a starter kit for, for hell. That's what happened to me. <laughs> a demon baby. You haven't seen me since. A demon baby and a starter pack of hell. Yo, bro. Be honest. My man is a clown for that one, bro. But then I, 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 I feel stronger, though. Would you like warn other stand-up comedians about a dress? Yeah, I had an interview, too, where I, 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 I would do it. I would do it eloquently and say I wouldn't wear the dress if you're chosen. You know, some people can wear the dress. It doesn't affect them. But, you know, um, I don't know. For welcome me, it didn't work. Welcome to TikTok. So what's what's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Who wants welcome, to roll welcome. that dice? Yeah, and as you look back on it now, you nah. kind of would never. If I had a time machine, you know, we was with Marty McFly. I would go back, you know. He um, he regretted that, bro. He regretted that. Yo, who remember Debo? Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate the rose. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love. I appreciate you, Kimberly. What's going on? How you feeling? How you feeling today? How's everything going with you? So we got uh Debo. Who remember Debo? Y'all remember Debo from Friday? You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. You know he passed away, right? But he's also talking about, it. and you know, this is a guy, you know, tough guy, stuff like that. Now he ain't never wear a dress, but this is him talking about it. This is a short. This is a short, short. Uh, I'm the part most of it. feared man in Hollywood. I'm. They, they don't like me in Hollywood. I'm why? Not, why do they not like you? I don't wear dresses. I don't do that gay stuff on the TV. You had to get some other black person to do that stuff. I'm talking. That's now that's gutter. But they all confess they love the Lord. But you cannot compromise yourself if you love the Lord. Mm. So I play tough guys, but young kids want to be soldiers. Young kids don't want to follow a guy to wear a dress. Mm. Uh, or, or, yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. That's crazy. What y'all think? Do y'all think? Kimberly, what's up with you? How you feeling? Do y'all think... Uh, this is wrong, like, for men to just be wearing dresses, like, you know, acting with dresses. I feel like, you know, um, hey, hey, what's up? What's up? I feel like when it comes to, like, putting out, putting out stuff in the world, right? When you put out stuff in the world, you know, it could be negative for other people or positive, right? So it's either you put out positive shit. Or you putting out negative stuff to impact people lives, right? So like when it comes to let's say, uh, for instance, like, you know, I got kids. So when my kids was younger, right, I didn't allow them to play like certain games, you know what I'm saying? Because that can impact them, you know what I'm saying? As they get older, you know, they think that this is real. You know, sometimes kids don't can't decipher, you know, what's real and what's not, you know what I'm saying? And Acting to me is an art form. If I was an actor, would I put on a dress? Hell no. I'm not doing that. Hands down. You you good. You keep that's you. That's all you. But acting is an art form. You know what I'm saying? Kim, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I can't complain. I'm here. Um 
Yeah, act, acting is an art form. So if that's what they choose they want to do, that's on them. That's just my opinion, right? But also with that, you know, that image is going out there and it's like, is it okay for kids to see this? That's like, I used to get really upset when I seen TV shows, right? And they used to show men, like men cheating on their girls or cheating on their wives or they, you know, they the, they the fucked up father. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, dad, you putting, you putting that image out there already to the public for people to watch that men is like that. And I know a lot of men that's not like that. So it's like, is is this is this the perception that they trying to put out there that men are cheaters? Men are dogs. You know, a lot of females call men dogs or men dogs. And, you know, this is how men is. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be little uh, Tim or Anthony watching these shows that have these men doing this it might not have the right father figure or male figure in their life to show them that this is not it and they looking at this and they watching it right and they see this stuff and they grow up thinking that that's okay and it's not it's not okay same women too that's true women too women too it's absolutely true women too you know what i'm saying you know, cause you, you can have, uh, you know, for instance, uh, we got, which, which be killing me. We got a uh, sexy red, which I, I like, you know, she, listen, it is what it is. And I'm not trying to sit here and play sexy red. You know, she making her money. She doing her thing. Right. But then you got to also is, is two sides to this. Right. So like with sexy red and I'm pretty sure y'all heard her music and seen how she is and stuff like that. She's living her life. She's doing her right. But and then you got little kids or girls that might see that, right? And think that that's okay to be like that now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not okay. So, but we also got to say as parents, what are we limiting our kids doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we going to do to help our kids so they not seeing these things? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. So, you know, you know, it, it's, it's a two-way thing. It's a two-way thing. So we, we about to wrap this up soon. We got a couple of more things. Uh, let's get into it with Dave Chappelle. He's Dave Chappelle. He's going to be talking about uh, men in dresses and stuff like that. So let's uh, get into this. And then we got uh, Snoop Dogg. Actually, let's get into Snoop Dogg, the one with Snoop Dogg. That's a short. So let's get into that with Snoop Dogg talking about it also. Let's go. I want to know what you told, what you said no to. <laughs> When I said, uh, Every, I'm sure it's so much. They wanted me to play a woman in uh, some kind of TV show, and they wanted me to wear a dress. Uh, so I was like, Nope. Uh, next rapper. <laughs> 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 some of the information that they shoot my kids, my grandkids ain't ain't right, and some of the teaching and the information, it's just not within the guidelines of the way I want kids to learn the way that they should be taught. What you mean? What, the, what are they learning? What are they getting it from? So you watch the world. You're looking out there. You're seeing what I'm saying. Mm. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, we really can't stop them from seeing it. That's true. We really can't. We really can't stop them from seeing it. But um, I feel like it starts from, like, when you're raising your kids, right? When you're raising your kids, it starts from when they're younger. You know what I'm saying? You already. Let me tell you, me... Listen, we all come into this world not knowing anything. You know what I mean? We got to seek the information and, and, you know, figure this out as we go along. We figure this out every single time. Every year I'm figuring out new shit as a parent. And I'm pretty sure that's what you guys, you know, if you got kids, every year you figuring out something new as a parent. I never, I never had a 16-year-old. You know what I'm saying? I never had a 17-year-old until I had a 17-year-old. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, you figure that out as you go along. You know what I mean? Nisi, what's up? Why do we always want black men to play a woman? Is enough women to play a woman? And that's the truth. That That is the truth. You know what I'm saying? They, 
it is is plenty of females is plenty of females that could literally play a female and i don't know i don't know i have no idea and it's kind of like it's it's kind of sad to see but i think this is my thought behind that uh the reason why they want men uh especially when it comes to black men too right not saying white men don't because it's a lot of white men that uh that also play uh female characters and stuff and if that's something that y'all want me to uh also talk about too we could do that you know what i mean but they do they is is always that but my thought is the reason why they do that is because they want to sit there and have uh they want to make the man powerless do that make sense am i making sense right now i'm tired of this bullshit i feel you <laughs> i feel you they see a lot of school and veterans there too yeah yep 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 yes please there's not many white it, 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 it's it's a, it's a decent it's a decent it's a decent amount of white and you know why I, I do that that that'd be another show i'll probably do that next week i do i I do that next week yeah they want to make they want to make the man powerless you know what i'm saying you know you got a and it's a lot of tough guys and like i said with the list that i gave you like for instance like dwayne the rock johnson you know he's masculine you know what i'm saying like he's you know tough and all this stuff and for you to see a man like that in the dress it's like whoa wait a minute what is happening because you want people to laugh we could do other things that make people laugh we could figure out other content to make people laugh it don't necessarily have to be them in a dress that don't make any sense to me at all you know what i'm saying it's crazy um but listen we got dave Chappelle uh also talking about it um so let's get into it but yeah like i said let's run down the list let's 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 run down the list wesley snipes wesley snipes is the one uh, is on my list we got on my list that i got i got um eddie murphy i got nick cannon which i didn't know nick cannon but then i thought about it i was like oh he did oh senio hall you know he was uh and and you know he's an icon you know to our community and like he and did a lot of stuff and you know grow up watching him you know you see uh Orsenio Hall we got uh um Chris Rock Will Smith we got Chris Tucker Damon Wayans Jamie Foxx Wesley Snipes Keenan Kel K and P Martin Lawrence like you said Kevin Hart Kevin Hart exactly Kevin Hart and it's crazy you know what I'm saying it's 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 crazy but let's get into this one right here with uh, Dave Chappelle, the real one. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm a conspiracy theorist to a degree. Like when I, I connect dots that maybe shouldn't be connected, I don't know. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress at some point in their career, I'll be connecting them down. Like, why all these brothers got to wear a dress? That's happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. Have a great night. So YouTube, I walk in a trailer. YouTube, I'm like, man, this must be the wrong Thank trailer. Thank you so cause. much. Thank you so much, Kim. I appreciate you coming in. You have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful night. There's a dress in here. <laughs> they come in. It's the writer comes in. I think he's the writer. He's like, Dave, listen. We got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail. So he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> and he put this dress on. And it, huh? What? The prostitute? <laughs> No, nah, I'm not doing that. I don't feel comfortable with it. The, that should have been in a discussion. What? You don't feel comfortable with it. I mean, it's a hilarious bit. All the greats have done it. So, well, if all the greats have done it, it's kind of hacky, right? You're right. So why don't we just not do it? Because I don't feel comfortable wearing a dress. Oh, come on, Dave. Listen, we, we got it all set up. We're supposed to shoot. Every, every minute you waste costs this much money. You know, the pressure comes in. Huh. He said, I'm, nah, I'm not wearing no dress, man. I'm funnier than a dress. Just give me something funny to say. I don't even wear no dress to be funny. I'm right. like Milton Berle, but blah, 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 blah. You know, we're going like this. <laughs> and then finally he's like, ah, and he, he leaves. And then like the director comes, Dave, it really would be great if you wear the dress. What is wrong? What is this, a uh, broke back mountain in here? So, <laughs> so then, <laughs> like, wear the, wear the Look, dress. Wilson, I want to yeah, wear, wear this dress. You know what I mean? You know, a lot, a lot. Oh, of... gosh. 
a lot of people is you be surprised. It's, it's so many, so many, so many black males in these dresses. Like I ain't man. Listen, when I started looking through this stuff and I wish I had a little bit more time to really dig deep more into this. Right. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot. When I was looking up some stuff, I was like, yo, this is crazy. This is, this is crazy right here. Yeah. Flip Wilson, man. It's crazy. It's so difficult. They leave. <clears throat> now the producers comes. Come on, David, would be so great. I mean, and then I started thinking about it. all the comics that I've seen. Man, you know, strong, Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Was, okay. Why, was, why are they putting us in these dresses? But the minute it was clear, I was adamant. I'm not wearing a dress. I'm not wearing the dress. All right. Fine. Think of something else. That comes back 10 minutes later. The whole new scene. How, damn, how did you write the scene so fast? Right. You know, it's like, so. Because he, he already had the scene. He already had the scene already for him. But they wanted to, they wanted to get him to that point where it's like, hey, you know, we want you to wear this dress. If you can wear this dress, then we got you. So listen, welcome in, y'all. I appreciate y'all coming in. If you're on Facebook, because we are streaming in multiple, multiple places right now, at least like six or seven different places. So uh, right now we are on uh, Twitter, which we just got verified on Twitter. I want to say shout out to y'all. Thank y'all so much. We are on our, um, in our Discord level up. Uh, family discord i don't know if y'all joined the uh discord but if you did not join the discord make sure you join our discord right now we got a couple people in there um and we are in the mix of revamping the discord and we're gonna be doing a couple of things within the discord so make sure y'all look out for that facebook we are aiming to get 10k followers right now we at 9.7k or 9.8k I don't remember right now at this point, but uh, we should begin to 10K uh, followers and we are monetized over there. So I appreciate everybody over there on Facebook. I see y'all over there rocking with me on that drama, the profit Facebook. Thank you all so much. I appreciate the love over there. And of course, we are on profit reactions um, on um, YouTube and we also on TikTok too. Shout out my TikTok fam. What up with y'all? Yo? What's up with y'all? So, um, yeah, listen. If y'all did not, like I said, make sure y'all follow me on all those platforms. Uh, we are trying to aim to get to a lot. We we this year we definitely pushing, we pushing, 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 and we we are definitely gonna get there. Um, and we got a lot of a lot of content that we putting out. And this show right here that we um, put together, let's talk about a lot of reactions going to be part of it. We're going to revamp this also. But right now, we just going to keep on doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep on doing what we do. But right now, we are at the end of our show. If y'all just now coming in and y'all did not see the whole show of us going in, talking about this, y'all can see the re-scream. Or I will be re-putting this out. It should be out tomorrow. Um, edited, chopped up, cause you know a lot.